Hey, today we're going to do an unboxing of a new condenser microphone. It's a USB version for uh, use with the PC. I often narrate videos and currently I do that using, uh, well, this little, this little I do uh, let me see. There we go. This little I do voice recorder from uh, from China actually. It's the A18 model, but they have certain several models that are almost the same. It has eight gigs of storage and USB and a built-in battery, and you charge it, and then uh, you can use it to do voice recording. The same voice recording you've heard in my previous videos, the last 20, 20 or 30, I guess. Um, and while that works very nice, and I think the quality of this recorder is excellent, uh, I'd like to be able to uh, do the narrations in real time behind my PC while editing. And this won't allow me to do that. I have to record it separately, then I have to match all the tracks, and after a while the tracks separate, and I have to match them again. And it's, it's a big hassle. The quality is excellent, but Still, so if you're getting into video making, this thing is actually pretty cheap. It's portable, it has a built-in battery, storage, everything. It's great. Quality is great. So I can really recommend getting one. I'll have a link in the description down below. Um, but for now, we're going to unpack a USB condenser microphone, and it's called the Neat Bumblebee. So let's have a look, shall we? I forgot to mention. A little while back, I also acquired an SE Electronics uh, Zoom, I believe it's called. Otherwise, I'll list it here. And it's on the camera right now, and I'm recording with it right now, at the same time as I'm using the iDo. But I am not really satisfied with the audio quality. It's very bland and, and flat, and it's not really dynamic. Um, I, didn't, I don't like it very much. So uh, that's why I bought the USB microphone. So yeah. This is also a new lighting setup. Uh, I might be totally overexposed or really washed out or whatever. I don't know yet. But I'm still experimenting with that. So, on to the microphone. Okay, I got the box from uh, Backshop. Again, this isn't a sponsored video. I pay for all this stuff myself. <coughs> but they did help me very well because the microphone didn't arrive for a few days. And I uh, called them what was going on, and basically the transporter, or the guy who was transporting the packet, said he couldn't find our house. And that he rang a few times, and we weren't home a few days, and it was all bullshit. So they sent out uh, a new microphone the same day, and I got it today, and it was a great service. And they used a different transporter. <laughs> There's a sticker on there with some interesting stuff. Interesting. Oh, wow. That's a neat little package. Field guide to the bumblebee. Okay. Yeah, so lots of technical blah. Let me readjust the camera just slightly. So they give you a little uh, mascot figure. A USB cable. 
it's a decent length, not that awesome, but or not that long, but you know. I guess so you're supposed to take this out. A uh, included pop filter. <laughs> and the microphone itself. It's actually quite heavy. some buttons, um, but I don't think you can see it this way, so we'll look at that in a minute. Okay. Wow. <laughs> That's some design though. But as you can see, it actually works quite well with the microphone to my face. Let me set up the camera a little bit differently so you can see. So we have the giant stand and this can swivel a few degrees each side. This thing is, is heavy. It's, uh, it's per I'm sure it's more than a kilo, I think. Uh, then we have some buttons. Uh, this is the nu music neutral and voice profile button. It has a good click to it, so good. But as I read online, it's kind of hard to tell which setting it's on. There is a little arrow on there. I'm not sure you can see that. But it's, it's, it's hard to see. But I don't think I'll change it much. So then we have the mic green. Okay. And then we have the headphone volume. <coughs> so this can angle. The microphone pod itself, uh, you can twist it a little bit, but it's very sturdy. Or how do you call that? In Dutch, we have a word word called stroef. Uh, it takes a lot of force, basically. So let's uh, angle it uh, like this. Okay, I like the versatility of this. Uh, it actually works uh, works pretty good. So let's put on the included pop filter. There's a little cutout on one side. Okay. It just held on there by friction, but that's okay. We'll look at this later. And let's get out the USB cable. It's a decent length, I guess, but it's not that long. Yeah, let me try and show you a bit better. Let's say this is about one and a half to two meters, so like um, four to six feet. <coughs> okay, so uh, last thing to do is to hook it up and uh, see how it does. Okay, I have it, uh, the cord plugged in the back of the microphone and I'm still recording using my little uh, voice recorder that's over here. And also the camera is still recording using the SE Electronics uh, microphone. So um, let's uh, plug it into the laptop and see what it does. Oh, that's awesome. It lights up, but it's not very bright, so that's good. Uh, it seems like my laptop just recognized it. Bumblebee. <laughs> okay. So it seems to be just using the generic Microsoft driver. That's fine. Let's get this out of the way a little bit. Okay. Uh, okay. So let's go to window. No, that's my Wi-Fi. Recording devices. Ah, it's already recording, so that's good. 
properties. Okay, I'm going to put the levels to 80%. You should never put things to 100% if you don't have to. Okay, and then I'm setting the quality to 24 bit 96,000 hertz. Because if it supports it, why not use it to record? Okay, that uh, should be good. So, how do I set my microphone in Audacity? I don't know, let's just try recording. Hello, this is a recording using Audacity. Oh, Audacity is recording in 44.1 kilohertz. So let's see if I can change that. And let's set this to 96,000. There we go. Hello, this is the second test using the neat Bumblebee microphone. It's set to 24-bit 96,000 hertz in the uh, microphone adjustment panel from Microsoft and in Audacity. So uh, let's see, it's currently on the music setting. Let's set it to neutral. So now we have the neutral setting. Uh, no clue what changed because I can't listen to it right now. So let's go to the voice setting and see how that sounds. Uh, oh, the voice setting actually records uh, louder. So maybe there's some compression going on or something like that. So uh, let's go back to the neutral setting. And um, the mic gain is completely dialed back. And as I said before, the Windows volume is set to 80. I can up the mic gain. And So, okay, uh, turns out that the mic gain was fully open. Um, so, yeah, uh, let's tone that down a little bit to, okay, this should be a decent, rec no, wait, a bit louder. This should be a decent recording level. And, um, okay, well, I don't really have to tune the headphone value because I'm not going to be using headphones. So, for review, um, this is kind of it. We can try the presets again. Music. Hello, this is the music preset. Hello, this is the neutral preset. Hello, this is the voice preset. Let's go back to neutral. Oh, and by the way, this is my little uh, voice recorder. And this is me looking at the camera and speaking into the SE Electronics microphone. So back to the Bumblebee. Um, we are currently in the neutral setting. And yeah, this is really going to be it. So if you have any questions about the microphone, uh, let me know. I'm going to try some stuff with equalization and compression using uh, real-time drivers in a bit. But I'll get back to you in the future with that. And uh, yeah, if you liked the video, give it a like and maybe subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys in the future. Bye-bye.